friends, or should I say all aboard friends, are you ready to take a ride on the North Lawn Express? Today we're going to be creating a whimsical garden railroad right here in my garden. Now I grew up with both miniature railroads that my dad would make and also garden railroads. I've always adored them. I think they really bring out the child in all of us. And so I asked my dad if he wouldn't mind me borrowing his garden railroad and setting it up here in the garden today. So I'm really thankful to my dad because he cleaned up all this G-scale track for me and laid it down here for me yesterday. So now we get to basically fake plant around the track. And basically I'm gonna treat this area of the garden as one ginormous container. We're going to take cuttings of a lot of different shrubs and have some shrubs around it in pots and really jam pack the area full of plants. But I'm not really going to plant any plants today because number one, this area is jam packed full of bulbs and I don't wanna disturb them. And also the ground is pretty much frozen solid at this point but I think we can create a beautiful and whimsical holiday display just by using cuttings. So let's just dive right into this project. It's about 20 degrees today, so I'm gonna be moving as quickly as possible. I've already taken cuttings from different hollies, boxwood, arborvitaes, and I've also just gathered some lanterns and basically every single evergreen that I have on the property, I've moved over here because we're also going to light everything up for Christmas. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get everything placed first and then I'll give you a tour with all the plant names. And here's a look at what it looks like before we get started. So today we're joined by Statue Grace and Real Life Rocky. You can see the track is already laid here. It just needs to be pieced together in four sections before we get the train going. But all I did to prepare for this is I just removed all the leaves from the area so the track could lay flat. And then I did cut back some of the perennials. And what I wanna do is kinda of disguise the garage right there. So I'm gonna fill in with a lot of evergreens right there. I'm gonna jam pack this center full of cuttings. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if Rahi watches the train go by? And then we're gonna light everything up for Christmas.
Okay, friends, I got it all planted up and I have to tell you, I think even if you weren't doing a garden railroad, even if you wanted to just spruce up an area of your garden without having to purchase any new plants over the winter, just to kind of get the feel of what these plants might look like, I think it's really a fun and cool idea to just take some branches from those plants, stick them in the garden and see how you like it. You could kind of just create a winter scene without purchasing any new plants at all. Isn't that fabulous? but I wanna go ahead and give you a tour of the plants during the day so we can focus in on the plants. And then I'll also give you a tour at night when the train's running with all the Christmas lights. Here at the entrance of the garden, I put a bird swag, which is just basically a gathered bunch of evergreens and seeds for the birds. And they especially adore the sunflower heads. What's on the opposite side of the gate and the fence there is Bergart and Sage. That's the silvery blue plant you see in the background. And then we can start with our plants on the interior of the garden. We have the beautiful sprinter boxwood right here. That's probably the only evergreen shrub that's actually planted in this area. The others are just placed here for the time being. So then we have those beautiful limelight hydrangeas. I love the brown color they take on in the winter, just beautiful. The twigs you see here are Arctic Fire Yellow Dogwood. And I think that's my favorite part of the display. I don't think it would be quite as captivating and eye-catching without this Arctic Fire Yellow Dogwood. And I only have one shrub. My shrub's three years old and I was able to get all these cuttings from it, or these twigs rather. And you can see on the shrub itself, it doesn't look like I even took anything from it. Now, Grace is watching the train and enjoying every minute just like me. The winterberry here is a beautiful one. It's called Little Goblin Orange Winterberry. And as we travel up from that, we're going to see an arborvitae that is brand new to me. It's called Forever Goldie Arborvitae. So I'll have to do some research on how big it gets and find a good place for it in the garden. I just laid some cypress and some cryptomeria and some holly throughout the garden, just to mainly cover the cords from all the Christmas lights. Now, how about this? This stem cost me $4 at a local nursery. And so it's just a stem that I stuck in the ground, but it's from a blue ice cypress. That is amazing color structure and cones on this cypress, wouldn't you say? And I just tried to match it with the blue color of the lights. Another blue evergreen is tucked back in here. This one's called the Pinpoint Blue Cypress, a nice columnar cypress, and I'll be excited to find a forever home for this plant. I stuck my bench and my dwarf Alberta spruces over here. I wanted it to kind of seem like you could be waiting for the train. And then we just placed some lanterns throughout the garden. And then I think all we have here is just more repetition of those same plants. Boxwood, limelight, winterberry, blue eye cypress. And yeah, I think it turned out just magical. What do you think, friends? Should we make this a holiday tradition? So here's what the Garden Railroad looks like in the daytime. Now let me show you what it looks like in the evening with all the Christmas lights on. Well, friends, it's about 5.30 now. The sun has set. And now the Garden Railroad is full of twinkling Christmas lights. I went once again just for a childlike feel out here. Lots of different colors. I lit up the service berry blue. Most of the evergreens, I did try to keep them green. That blue eye cypress I told you all about earlier, I lit up blue. And then the rest I did in multicolor. And the winter berry I did in white. But what do you think, friends? For our first try at a festive, magical childlike garden railroad, I would say it's a success. And if you have a garden railroad or know anyone who does, I would love to hear all about it and learn from you. I need to say once again, a ginormous thank you to my dad for all of the hard work on making this railroad happen. I'll put a link to all of his books in the description section below if you're looking for a last minute gift for maybe the child in your life. He has lots of wonderful rhyming books to choose from that he also illustrates. And before we say goodbye, I also wanted to show you the hydrangea room. I lit it up white this year, just a nice bright tunnel to walk through. 
And then I purchased two green spotlights on Amazon and I'm just lighting up all the hydrangeas with those green spotlights. Well, friends, from my family to yours, and that includes my furry family as well, we all wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas and we look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Bye, friends.